Unit 8, Lesson 5, Using Dot Plots to Answer Statistical Questions. Number 1. Three sets of data about 10 6th grade students were used to make three dot plots. The person who made these dot plots forgot to label them. Match each dot plot with the appropriate label. The first dot plot, letter A, goes with number 2, the number of hours of sleep on nights before school days. The second dot plot, B, matches with number 3, numbers of hours of sleep on nights before non-school days. And finally, dot plot letter C matches with number 1, ages in years. The dot plot that made the most sense to me was letter C, because most 6th graders are between the ages of 10 and 12. Dot plots A and B were fairly similar, and I figure on nights before non-school days, students might be sleeping in and waking up a little bit later, so I selected dot plot B. For number 3, the number of hours of sleep on nights before non-school days. Number 2. The dot plots show the time it takes to get to school for 10 6th grade students from the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. A. List the countries in order of typical travel times from shortest to longest. The shortest travel time is the United States. The next shortest travel time would be Canada. The third shortest travel time would be students from New Zealand. The fourth shortest travel time would be students from Australia. And finally, the longest travel time would be students from South Africa. B. List the countries in order of variability in travel times, from the least variability to the greatest. The least variability in travel times was the United States. Second would be New Zealand. Third would be Australia. Fourth would be Canada. And the most variability in travel times would be South Africa. Number 3. 25 students were asked to rate on a scale of 0 to 10 how important it is to reduce pollution. A rating of 0 means not at all important, and a rating of 10 means very important. Here is a dot plot of their responses. Explain why a rating of 6 is not a good description of the center of this data set. Although 6 is halfway between the smallest value, 2, and the largest value, 10, on the data set, there are many more responses greater than 6 than there are less than 6. Number 4. Tyler wants to buy some cherries at the farmer's market. He has $10 and cherries cost $4 per pound. A. If C is the number of pounds of cherries that Tyler can buy, write one or more inequalities or equations describing C. C is less than or equal to 2 and 5 tenths. C is equal to 2 and 5 tenths. And C is greater than 0. B. Can 2 be a value of C? Can 3 be a value of C? What about negative 1? Explain your reasoning. Yes, 2 can be a solution for C, because 2 times $4 is $8, and he has $10. No, 3 can't be a solution for C, because 3 times $4 is $12, which is too much, because he only has $10. And finally, no, he can't buy negative one pounds of cherries. That just doesn't make sense. C. If M is the amount of money in dollars Tyler can spend, write one or more inequalities or equations describing M. M is less than 10. M is equal to 10. And M is greater than 0. D. Can 8 be a value of m? Can 2 be a value of m? What about 10 and 5 tenths? Explain your reasoning. Yes, 8 would mean that he bought 2 pounds of cherries. Yes, 2 would mean he bought a half a pound of cherries. And no, 
10 and 5 tenths is too great. The value must be greater than 0 and no greater than 10. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 8, Lesson 5, using dot plots to answer statistical questions. Mm -hmm.